Which of the following coordinate pairs would be a possible point Q so that CQ is perpendicular to line AB? So we see here that line AB is going to be from here to here. So we want something perpendicular. So CQ would have to would be um, perpendicular to line AB. Let's look at the possible answers here. We have Q as negative 3 comma 3, that's 1, 2, 3 comma 1, 2, 3 over here. So this one here kind of looks like it might be perpendicular 90 degrees to this one here. Let's look at the other choices. Negative 3 comma 0, negative 3, 1, 2, 3 comma 0. So this one here is kind of tricky to see, but this is another possibility. 2 comma 1, 1, 2 comma 1. These also look perpendicular. And 4 comma 5, 4 comma 5. So they all kind of look perpendicular. It's hard to really know exactly, so we need to find some way to verify it. So let's consider point AB. The coordinate for A is negative 2, comma. This here is going down for 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4. And the coordinate for B is 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4, comma, 2. So we can find the slope when we have two points. The slope is equal to the change in y over change in x. So y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So we're working with these two points here. I'll call this my x2's y2's and this is this here point b is going to be my x1 y1 so y2 this number here negative 4 minus y1 this is my y1 value 2 over x2 which is negative 2 minus x1 which is negative 4 be careful about those brackets so when we simplify this we have negative 6 over negative 2 plus 4 is going to be positive 2. So negative 6 over 2 is negative 3. And this kind of makes sense because we're going downhill steeply from left to right. We have a negative slope. So we want CQ so that it's perpendicular at a right angle to line AB. So how do we do that? We know that this is the slope here is negative 3. We want a line perpendicular, so we're going to have the slope. The m1 is negative 3. So the m2, this, the, the, the slope that is perpendicular to this line, is going to be the negative reciprocal of negative 3. So the sign flips to be a positive 3, and we take the reciprocal, which is 1 third. So we want a slope of 1 third. So unfortunately, because um, we need to confirm a slope of one-third, we're going to have to go through every single point one by one. It's going to be kind of time-consuming. We try to eyeball it to see which point looks a bit unreasonable. But one by one, we'd have to work through until we get to the correct choice, which is D. Let's confirm D algebraically. So we have two points. We have point C, which is 1, that's the x value, comma, 4, which is the y value. We have these two points. And then we, we have 0.45, which is 4 over here. And 5 would be over here. So this point here would be our second point. So point C would be 1, 4. Let me just write it over here. So point C is 1, 4. And uh, point Q would be 4, 5. 4, 5 would be here. 4, 5. And this is going to be our x2, y2. And this is our x1, y1. So let's confirm this slope here. So what we have here is the slope is equals to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1, which is equals to, let's confirm it. This is our y2 value, which is 5 minus our y1 value, which is 4 all over x2, which is 4 minus our x1 value would be 1. So this here is 3 over, sorry, this is going to be 5 minus 4 is 1 over 4 minus 1 is 3. So we can see here that the slope, if we make this point Q 
4 comma 5 and let me just draw another line here so this here is the initial point point C and we draw a line from here to here you can see that the slope we found out using this y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 slope formula is going to be one-third we confirm that indeed it matches the slope that it should be over here so that the choice D is correct